Welcome to the High Rise Hostess. I'm Jess. Thanks for stopping by. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Today we're going to talk about your kitchen and entertaining in it and how to stay organized. I have some tips and tricks to help you keep your cabinets tidy and your countertops clean. First off, let's take a look at my cabinets. I have these fantastic containers that I ordered off of Amazon that work wonders right now. Because of COVID, everybody wants to clean everything as soon as they get home from the grocery store. This makes it super easy to unbox all of your cereals, your pretzels, your snacks, pastas, grains, sugars, etc and keep them in clear containers that allow you to not only see what you have and what you're running low on, but not have to worry about cleaning the packaging. You just open it, pour it in, and you're done. Let's take a look. So the way that I organize this cupboard, on the top shelf I have all of Chris's things that I don't need to access. I can't reach that shelf without hopping on a stool or grabbing a chair or climbing on the countertop to get up there. So all of his protein powders and some serveware that we don't use often goes up there. On the second shelf we have clear containers that we can see all of our stuff and behind it we have water bottles that we can quickly grab if we're headed to the gym or for a hike. And they're not as pretty and organized to look at, so I like to keep them behind all of our snacks and foods. On the bottom shelf, we have coffees and teas and things that we use throughout the day, easily accessible for both of us. And we also have our vitamins and minerals that we take in the morning, so you can quickly grab them, put them back. So, as you can tell, it's pretty organized. With the clear containers, it makes it super easy to jot down what we need and what we're running low on if we're running to the grocery store because you can see what you need. Okay, so that's that cabinet. Let's move on to the next. So this cabinet is where we keep all of our plates and bowls and serveware. At the top I keep our like cupcake tray and pie dish bowls for big salad servings for when we have guests over, pasta bowls, cereal bowls, plates, little bowls. This rack, again, is great if you live in an apartment and have limited cupboard space. You can use these under the sink, in your bathroom, or in your cupboards, stacking pots and pans, plates, coffee mugs. I love these, they're great space savers and it helps you lay things out so that you can see everything without stuffing everything in a cabinet. So over here, you can see we have our cups, glasses, wine glasses, champagne flutes, coffee mugs, the French press, some little espresso glasses right over the coffee maker. So it's easy accessible. We have lots of different ways to inject caffeine into ourselves. The French press is awesome if you have some time in the morning and can heat up water, grind the beans. The Nespresso machine is amazing if you're running out the door and need that quick jolt of caffeine. Grab a pod, stick it in, press it down, and press go. 30 seconds later, you're sipping that coffee and running out the door. And also over here, we have my soda stream, which I'm obsessed with. When we spent some time in Italy last summer, we drank sparkling water every single day, and I got home and I couldn't just drink flat water. I had to have the sparkling water. So that's another great accessory that I use every single day and something that I feel deserves countertop space. Now let's take a look at the countertop and see what I've done and how you two can use your countertop space wisely. So as you can see, our countertops are pretty clean. On the island, I like to keep a bowl of fresh fruits or lemons or things that I'm 
going to eat and need to grab. And it just looks pretty to have a fresh fruit bowl with a big pineapple in the middle, a bowl full of apples or a bowl full of lemons. Just gives it that nice, clean look. On our countertops, keep it very clean and basic. I keep my coffee machine, our soda stream. In the sink, I keep a strainer. So this makes it really easy when we come back from the grocery store and need to clean our berries and our fruits and vegetables. I put them in here, soak them off, and let them sit and dry, and then put them away either in the fridge or in the bowl. I also keep our dish soap that we use every single day and a couple scrubbing tools. And then on our stove top, I like to keep our, our tea kettle for both coffee. I like to make oats in the morning, so pour some hot water over some oats and add some berries. And then just a bowl full of necessary utensils. I know a lot of times when we're moving from apartment to apartment and people gifting us or hand-me-down spoons and tongs. We don't necessarily need all of those, especially if you're not cooking at time. Just keep what you need and what you're using all of the time. I also keep our salt and pepper. I got these at the One of a Kind show here in Chicago by this artisan that makes these beautiful custom salt and pepper shakers. So I just think they're fun and pretty and we use them every single day, and they're great to just add a little color to the countertops. I also keep a bowl of nuts or seeds that we can snack on throughout the day without having to make a full meal. It's good to just walk by, grab a handful, and snack on. And I also keep our KitchenAid just because it's so big and it's tough to find another place to keep it. With our limited storage space in the kitchen, the countertop is really our only place to put it. But if I had my bigger cabinets, then it would definitely be hidden somewhere because I never use it. As pretty as it is, it's not the most useful appliance. And then lastly, I keep our knives because we use them every single day. I have a wonderful set of global knives that I just adore. I use them every day and they're amazing knives. So that's pretty much the lay of the land when it comes to cabinets. I do have all sorts of linens and tableware and setting things that I do have to get creative with. And the rest of our appliances are hidden down below in our island. Let me show you. Hi there. So down below here we keep our stacking bowls. These are great for salads and soups and chips and just great for putting out for entertaining. All of our all of our serveware for parties are down here, but I also use these for storing our onions and garlic and baby onions, just because it makes it easy to grab when I'm working over here at the sink and need to grab something above if I'm using a cutting board up on the island. I also have this guy. I put water in here to water our lemon tree and our rubber tree. And then I also down here have this amazing ice cream maker that I never use, but when we do, it makes some really incredible ice cream. This guy right here, William Sonoma ice cream maker. So these guys were also made by that same artisan that made the bigger salt and pepper. If I have a table setting that's a little too cluttered, then I'll throw either those on there or some more modern ones that match the table setting, depending on which tablecloth and which plates and glasses I'm using. If it's more colorful, then I'll throw those on. If it's a more muted, more modern table, then I'll use something a little bit more elegant. So over here, I keep our um, other coffee stuff. I love this espresso. this stovetop espresso maker. You throw it on the stove and um, you put the water down here and the ground espresso beans up here and it percolates and makes some incredible espresso. This is an espresso uh, milk frother 
and it works with almond milk or oat milk too and makes that just perfect cappuccino if you have the time in the morning or entertaining and somebody wants an espresso or a cappuccino after dinner. I love this thing. This too is my Wolf Blender and I use this almost every day to make smoothies and uh, protein shakes. You can make soups. So it's really, really useful and it's easy to grab because it's open and under my island and I use it a lot. I also have a crock pot down here. Sorry. So this is my crock pot. Um, these are some more salt and pepper shakers. These were a gift from my good friend Lauren. Beautiful. And then these are some decorative clay plates that were gifted to me from my mom. Let's go see what else I have. So under our sink here, there's a lot of space under here and I like to keep it tidy. This is something that I think everybody needs under their, their kitchen sink. It's it pulls out so it's easy to grab things. You can keep cleaning supplies, soap, sprays, your dish detergent, extra sponges. I keep everything in here. Uh, some dish gloves. I don't like keeping a garbage can out. I don't find it very attractive as a small space in an apartment. I like to keep the garbage hidden. So I just have a small can under the kitchen. When it gets full, we throw it out down the hall and that's it. Then we, nobody has to come in the apartment and look at our garbage can overflowing. Under here, I also keep some easy accessible paper towels, some trash bags. I keep the drying rack if we need to do any dishes by hand that cannot go in the dishwasher. And I keep on the door here, this great little rack is great for storing either plastic bags or I take these out and take them if we're going golfing or if we're going to the beach or to the grocery store. We can throw things in there and wash them afterwards or just wipe them out. But it keeps things organized and clean and tidy and in their own space. Just next to our stove, I keep our cooking dishes. I keep our Pyrex stackable containers. And then again, just more things for storing food and cookware. This is really accessible. It's right next to our stove. So if we're cooking or cutting vegetables, just open this cabinet and it's right where we need it. This was a present from my sister. She gave this to me with some cookware one year for Christmas. I still have it. I love it. I serve cheeses and charcuterie on it when we have guests over. We also keep our grinder down here. We use this every day and when we're making our French press coffee or our percolated espresso and then just measuring cups and a cheese grater and some wax paper, some plastic wrap and tin foil. So this is just more cookware. Try and keep it organized so that I can find everything and it doesn't get too cluttered. So lastly, I'll show you where we keep all of our spices and canned goods and oils and baking stuff doesn't matter what I do. I need to climb onto a chair or onto a stool or something to get to the top shelf. So up there I keep canned goods and baking things that I don't use as often. And on the second shelf I keep all of our oils and balsamic vinaigrettes and spices and same on the bottom, spices and jams and things that we're gonna use more often cooking. I can easily grab everyday stuff. So I try and keep this as organized as possible so I can find everything. So that's that. So the last cabinet I have is above our microwave and in that cabinet we just keep alcohol for guests, things that we use when we're entertaining and don't need quick access to every day. Okay, so lastly I'll show you our fridge. 
So a friend of ours laughed and said, you guys actually live here? I don't keep a ton of stuff in our fridge because there's only two of us. We grocery shop every two, three days and just get what we're going to eat. Otherwise, everything just goes bad. So in here, I like to keep a pitcher of fresh lemonade or iced tea so that it's always ready and made. I will brew it on the stove for a few hours and stick it in the fridge and have it whenever we have guests or sip on it throughout the day. We keep a, like right now we have sausages and chicken and a few slices of cheese. So we'll eat that in the next couple of days. And I also have some sardines and some anchovies. Sometimes I'll throw those in a sauce or eat them as a snack. I know, disgusting, but I like it. And then I keep condiments on our doors, butter, and then in our crispers, I keep just vegetables. Um, and I'm super weird about it. I'm. I know I'm anal, but I color code it. So if it's green peppers and celery and cucumbers and avocados will go in one drawer and then keep our orange and purple peppers and beets and radishes and um, carrots in another drawer. I really like organization. I also, which is a little different, I'll take a bowl and I'll put all of our eggs or our berries and I just like keeping things in glass containers. So if we have our eggs, I'll take them out of the container, throw it away, and that works really well for COVID right now so that we're not touching packaging. We can take it out, wash our hands, wash whatever is going in them. Same with the vegetables. If we had asparagus or um, herbs in the fridge right now, I would freshly cut the bottom off and then put them in a cup or a glass of water. And sometimes I'll use uh, a vase or something if it, I have a big bunch. So that's our kitchen tour. If you have any organizational questions, please let me know. I'm a nerd for this sort of thing. I'd be happy to help. All of the products that I've shown you today for the the racks in the cabinets, the clear containers for our snacks and flour and sugar and pastas, I will link below. Same with the um, pull-out shelf that we have under our sink. If there's anything else that I can share with you, please leave a comment below. If you've enjoyed this video today, please like and subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be alerted the next video. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.